years. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. I was happy here on this Monday, the 22nd of July, and I am thrilled to say that the Tiger Dollar Sale has been extended. Go to the front page; you'll see all see it. And of course, uh, I've got my webinar coming up tomorrow night, tomorrow at four o'clock, actually four to five thirty, ninety minutes. And this is one of the first. I, I, all weekend, I mean, for days and days, I've been refraining from, usually I, I do this intense webinar where I got charts and uh, just everything, so that the fixed format is quite intensive, usually 60, 65 slides, so 90 minutes means you don't have much time, but I get through everything, and there's a live where I go to the charts. This time, I'm trying my best <laughs> to stop writing just to have the uh, patterns that we look at as well as the uh, particular issues that should, the stocks and symbols that should be pertinent either on the downside or the upside in the coming few weeks. And, you know, uh, let me just do this right off the bat. The SMHs, semiconductors, up five at 253.36. Really important that they start to form some kind of a base. They've broken the support level, the horizontal 255 level, trading right now 253.43, up five from Friday's low in the 240s. In fact, 247, I think, yeah, 247.79. And that's just saying to me, just be careful because we've got a rotation going on. That's number one. In other words, the, the issues that we're doing the very best are now taking um, uh, taking a bit of a, a rest. That's very important to get a breather, to be able to, you know, running a marathon, you want to take as many uh, sips of water as you need and a little bit of rest when you can. Okay, most importantly, what we're looking at is what's working. So let me do this. I'm going to run all the numbers. And then I want to do some detailed work. Here's the Dow. Dow's down 51 at 40,235. The 40,077 high that was made back in May to the 40,000 round number millennium, millennial uh, level uh, is going to be absolutely imperative to hold in this particular phase, this consolidation phase. That's number one. Number two, even if there's a rally, the fact that up until uh, three sessions ago last Thursday, the Dow 30, that was the ideal. They were right in the sweet spot. But if you look at the rhythm of the number of bars in the U-shaped pattern in the weekly chart from the high that was made back in uh, March, I think it was, yeah, March, the week of the 22nd, that's uh, four months ago, and you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine, these eight and nine, nine bars after that high made that peak E, and then you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bars or weeks that is going to the high of 41,376. Point what? 0.00, a round number high. So, I everything about what I was looking at over the weekend said, you know what, there should be a pretty decent rally. Um, there should be a pretty decent rally based on a couple of things that I was looking at, but it's the duration of the rally, and I'm going to get to that in a moment. That is absolutely imperative to monitor. SBX.X, that's the S&P, trading right now up 27, holding very nicely after the low that was made at just under 50 at 5,500 on Friday. We hit 55.61. Uh, this morning, now we're at 55.33, kind of holding okay with a 9 period moving average close to turning negative, but it hasn't yet. I hope it doesn't because that's going to be uh, a signal to say there's going to be quite a bit further downside action. But if there's a bounce off here, it says, hmm, maybe we've got this potential arch formation with a rally, and then we come back and retest it. Looking at the QQQ up 4.7, that's 480.08. Uh, the 9 period moving average on Friday went negative. I don't want to fight that. I am saying that it seems to me that this area between where we are, 48, 480 right now, 
and the low that was made back on the 24th of uh, June at 473.82. Let's call it a four. Let's call it 473. That is going to be imperative to hold this week by Friday's close. If we can move from here towards the 485 level, which is the pink nine period moving average, which, which is under the 14, that's why it's negative, that'll be a good sign. So this is a work in progress. The weekly chart says, you know, be prepared to have a bit of a pullback here. Let's go to the um, IWM, the Russell 2000. So this is, uh, to, to my eye, this is 215.79. Uh, this is something that we're monitoring really closely because Right in that 9 period moving average, right there, that's a 215.03. And we're trading right now 215.80, having hit 218.61. Uh, that's the high of Friday. This is a very interesting. The high of Friday was 218.65. The high today is 218.61. So it didn't take out. I wish it had take, taken that out just to say I can, I, the – the fact that there was enough energy to take out Friday's high is good. It doesn't matter so much where it closes, but just that, that attempt. But it didn't do that. So this is something now on watch. Uh, our bias is towards alongside. We've been along this for some time in the very low 200s. And I we want to, we, we've added to it, and that didn't work. We want to, we want to, we want to see that the adding uh, has enough strength to hold support into. Tuesday afternoon when I'm about to do the webinar because we want to see if there's a chance that the um, Russell 2000, which the monthly chart, the candle hasn't closed. It's still got, uh, what is it? What is today? The 22nd. So we've got just over a week to go. We'll see where this candle closes at the end of the session on uh, Wednesday, July the 31st. That's going to be really important. If it closes above 220, I would say that's good action. If it closes under 210, I'll say, oops, failure pattern. So we'll see. But it's very important to monitor the IWM right now, the Russell 2000 small caps. Let's go to um, the XLK, which is the S&P Select Spider. A uh, nice little bounce off the low of Friday, but so far we can only call it a bounce. It did hit the in, uh, the trend line in the monthly chart, very long-term trend line, got repelled there in leg D. So now let's go. We spoke about the SMHs. Let's see where they are right now. They're up 5.42 at 253.50. So we had short position. We took a little bit. Of, we took actually quite a nice profit from it this morning. Uh, it had a way bigger profit intraday. Uh, look at this, SOXS. Look at that. It went all the way to 24.81. Seven points from the 17.73 low that was made two weeks ago. Seven points. That's, uh, what is that? It's about 27%, uh, um, something like that. Um, rally. Uh, seven points. Let me just get that right. Uh, th almost 30%. Yeah, that's a very good rally. And now it's come down a little bit. So we've taken some profit. We still have a core position. We'll see what happens there. Now, this is going to be very important. Um, gold. Gold rallied uh, earlier on. And now it's come back down. It's only down to me at 296. But it's saying I'm under the 40 period moving average. That means we've got to monitor the 9 period moving average, which is green and still way above. What happens next is important. This is the chief axis gold miners holding quite nicely. It's unchanged at 3739. Ha! Ah, that's quite good action. I'll be back in a moment. Dow's down. Oh, Dow's unchanged. Oh, Dow's up to SMB's up 37. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. 
published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The Gold Report as a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. We're back, Master Trap and Tiger Conditions Hour on the 22nd, Monday, 22nd of July. And we're looking at the Dow, uh, the, sorry, the gold, the GDX, 37.30, down 9 cents, holding quite well. Nine's way over the 14. I, I'm just saying that I believe that we're in some kind of a sideways consolidation in gold. Uh, yeah, the gold chart itself doesn't look anywhere like the GDX, but that's the gold miners. I prefer to see the gold miners doing well. Of course, you want to see them both moving in the same direction. Look at silver. Silver is trading down uh, 0.16 at 29.13. That's kind of important. Now, I want to talk about a couple of things. Um, High-grade copper. High-grade copper was disappointing that it just didn't rally and hold around rally and it keeps going down. It's at the 200 period moving average. So the copper stocks, if you look at FCX, Freeport McMurray made a peak C1, C2, double top in the Chapman Wave methodology, made a peak D back at 55.24 on the 20th of May. That's uh, when the Dow made that shorter term pullback. They, a number of uh, issues had the 20th as the high. And now it's close to the 45.17, 200 period moving average. And I, it has a chance to do a one-to-one one to the downside, uh, Freeport McMurray, uh, in the uh, weekly chart, uh, it, it needs definitely to hold the 45s. If it breaks a, on a closing basis below 44, that's a problem. So that's an SCCO, which is, here we go, uh, SCCO is trading at 104.15 down 15 Southern Copper, uh, one of the leaders in the field, peak G, way back um, 20th of May, and it's come down from the 129, almost 130 level, down to 104 where it is right now. The weekly chart makes me a dreaded H and it took out the left side low. Got to watch this closely. Weekly chart, monthly chart was fantastic. It went right through, uh, over the last four months, it went right through the um, long-term channel wave inside track repellent zone, and then it went even higher, and now it's come back under it. So I got it. I don't think we're out of the woods. I think this is a rotational market, and if you're able to select carefully and correctly, um, you could weather any any storms that are coming up. And we're looking at uh, TGB, which is a very tiny price stock at 221, holding quite nicely, unchanged. Uh, to Seiko Mines Limited, 
a copy. It took out the arch formation, the dreaded H, closed under the uh, left side low. This is the third time. Oh, you got to be careful now. And all I can say is that I would like copper very much to go from where it is at this point at 4.17 to go into the 4.42 area sometime before the beginning of August. So you've got a week and a half to do that. I think that's a really big ask. And it's going to be important. Uh, let me go through the uh, crude oil. Crude oil right now trading down 44 cents to 78.20. And that puts it, I remember I was looking at the XL the other day and I said, it's attempting to rally, but it's got this peak D. Let it pull back first and then we'll see. Some people want to do either add to positions or buy. I said, let's just hold off. And I'm still holding off right now. I'm saying uh, the monthly chart's great, weekly chart's good. Uh, and daily chart has had a really good rally from uh, 87s to the 94s, 90, almost, yeah, 94s, and now it's trading in 91.76, digesting the gains. So that's the energy sector. Let's hold off there. Um, the other thing I want to do, so in the den, somebody, McGuppy said, crowd strike. Yeah, I must say, the, the whole thing with the airlines, I mean, I know someone who was going to Sweden on Friday, only went yesterday. Uh, my daughter was going to uh, Argentine, and her flight was delayed. They had to get a new crew. So instead of going early evening, she went to 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh, yeah, a lot of things, big disruptions in the uh, airline sector. Uh, and if you look at the, um, oh, yeah, so crowd strike. Now that 200 period moving average of 295, which it just went through like it was nothing, that's going to be your resistance level. It's at 268 right now. Did I just hear a little ping? Ping? Uh, yeah. Um, okay, I've got that. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, we want you to look at bonds, the TLT. And this is going to be this. Oops, I typed it in the wrong place. Sorry. The TLT. It's, it's not bad. I mean, it's not doing anything. I showed the, uh, for subscribers to my opening call, I uh, showed the weekly, monthly, uh, sorry, the triple weekly uh, yields, the 10 year, 30 year, and the five year. And it just stuck in a range. But look, if you look at this arch formation, it says yields could be stuck here for a little while. There is a chance that they, the TLT could go higher based on the 9 period moving average of the weekly chart, but it has to snap through the resistance in 94. It really has to be trading in 96.70 to 97.30, just to say, hey, whew, I'm out of all that stuff. Now I can go for the next left side high of 96.40. And then, of course, if it does that by going through 96.70 into the 97 area, then you can start looking at the left side highs. But it hasn't done it yet, and it's up against the 200 period moving average in the uh, daily chart. All right, so I would spoken about, I've got my webinar coming up tomorrow, and there are a lot of techniques that I could discuss. I've discussed a lot of them here. I don't even want to take too much time. I did it when I did my overview, the weekly overview uh, on Friday, straight after the close. Um, I explained some things, but I'll do it here because it, it is so important. I have a technique that I discovered whoa, when I used to hand chart. So this goes way, way back. I, I, there's a story involving a, a French, uh, this guy from Paris came to meet my friend on a business venture. And purely by chance, because he also had a fund, my my buddy said, hey, I'm going to get I'm going to get a friend of mine over who, who does technical analysis, etc. And I went over <laughs> at that exact moment is where I discovered, that I just like two days before, discovered this technique that I call the uh, stalk leg formation. And what is the stalk leg formation? It's just a simple, it's a, I'm very visual. I came to uh, uh, technical trading through the visuals because I, I did, when I left high school, I did design um, and uh, graphic design. So this is what I'm looking at here. There's a pattern where the price goes up strongly. It's like it doesn't matter how many peaks, but it looks like a long leg. And then there's a pattern that goes sideways with slightly higher highs, slightly lower lows, and then slightly lower highs and slightly lo higher lows. High, all right, slightly lower highs. It makes an oval pattern, and that oval pattern is very distinct. And if 
the oval pattern sees the peak of the, uh, the arch high taken out, that becomes what I call the neck. So you know how a stalk stands on one leg? Of course, this is purely technical analysis. I'm sure that in the technical analysis uh, literature, uh, you'll never, ever read about the stalk leg formation, except I've used it for decades, and it's just been an amazing tool. So what happens is it goes leg, body, or it has to be an oval body, and around a circle is something completely different. It has a different, there's a connotation of that. That's something else. But this is the particular one in the weekly. And then it makes the neck. The neck doesn't have a height attached to it. It just is higher than the arch of the oval. And then the positive impact, the test of the body. I'll talk about it when the If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Tigers, it's back. The annual July Tiger Dollar Sale. If you've been wanting to try one of our products, from our stellar newsletters to educative webinars, now is the time. From now until July 22nd, we're offering a 20, 30, even a 40% bonus on Tiger Dollar purchases. After being applied to your account, your Tiger Dollars will be used for all purchases. They can be easily transferred and never expire. If you want to receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when purchasing Tiger Dollars, now's your chance. This is a perfect opportunity to try out a newsletter or save big on your current subscription. This deal is only available until July 22nd, so lock in your bonuses fast. Go to TFNN.com today to lock in your bonus. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. 
Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. I'll go to back. So, uh, so Microsoft, what we're looking at, and Microsoft ran up to 468.15 on the 5th of July, uh, and that was leg E. Then it made a big red candle with a lower high, and it came down very sharply last week, and that was the beat. And that was the pattern that we had talked about and what I'd spoken right here on TFNN every day on my show. I was talking about, I was, I was anticipating that the rule of thumb in this particular pattern is that from the neck, the beak itself, how it, it always comes back down and tests the arch high. How it handles that is really important because if it handles it by having an extreme hits that level and then has an extremely strong bounce that bounce is what you expect in after the beak is con has concluded this is a weekly chart so i really can't talk about it until friday as if it's concluded that the downside move but it's fascinating uh that in this particular instance it pulled back and where did it pull back to it had a 432.00 round number low on friday and here it is 100 and sorry here it is at 11 points above that and that's kind of important well if it goes at this point this week if it hits the 446 to 448 area I would say that that's probably the balance and the rule of thumb is that when the stalk leg formation's beak is concluded, there's a very strong balance and then you're on your own. <laughs> then you have to find the next pattern. Well, have a look at this because CDE, uh, we, we are long, we've been long since 338, we did add to it, but uh, uh, the issue here is that um, it's kind of done everything that we spoke about, but this could be just with the first step is this the concluding step? You don't really know. There are a lot of things that go into this, but it achieved exactly what we were looking at. Here's another one. CDE, which is core mining, uh, which we are long, um, had exactly this. Look, I drew it in. Here's the pattern. Chapway stalk leg formation. There's the leg. There's the body. There's the neck. And it made a double top at a peak C1, C2. It didn't go to a D, but it had almost the exact same uh, um, conclusion. And then it pulled back very sharply. What did it do yesterday, uh, on Friday? The rule of thumb is that 6.09, 6.05 arch high is probably going to be tested. That's the rule. But where did it go to on Friday? It went right to 6.02, which is right under it. And then it had a really good bounce. And even today, it's up three cents, even though silver, it's a silver stock, um, is very, very weak. Now, I don't know if this is the beak. I don't know if this is the low. And now we're going to get a really strong rally and then you're on your own. Whether that was the rally, that's the tough part. Now we're getting to the tough part. The easy part, I should mention that we are long. CD, we have taken a little bit off for uh, kind of a money management. But uh, I am anticipating, based on this weekly chart, that the target, I don't know, we might be out of it by then, but the target is actually the left side high of seven, I think it's 768. That's that left side, right side price time match. And this particular instance, the, the, it went right to the chap wave inside track repellent zone. Right there, that line, sorry. Green dashed repellent target line. Pull back a little bit. And this week, the resistance will be at... So it's this week, 690. If it can get to 690, that's really important. It's trading right now, 625. It's kind of struggling. Okay. So with that said, oh, did I get stopped out of that? Oh, I, I'm always trying to do two things at once. Yeah. Ah, I had this uh, long and was doing so nicely. Uh, got back in and uh, got stopped out right there because I raised the stop. Because I was doing the show, I didn't know I, I didn't know I could be able to look at this. So look at this: the the E mini went right to the 200 period moving average in the five minute chart for great support, and it zipped right up. The uh, weekly chart, the 10 minute chart, went to the I uh, called it the magnet line five five eight two. It went right through it, and then up and uh, over it, and now we're running once again. I think that the market is saying, you know, we've got a little bit of clarity here. And that's a very positive thing. And therefore, uh, 
there's a chance that just in the short term, now I have to talk about this. It's 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 it, it might be the politics that people don't want to hear, but because it's absolutely, to me, it's absolutely directly related to the market. It's one of the reasons why, for subscribers, I said we, we're taking long positions here, adding long positions. Um, it's because, remember I spoke about this on Friday, and I'll, I'll follow through here. Um, in the rating, Kamala Harris was really very, very low both in Republicans and Democrats. But my assessment, and this is what I said to, to subscribe to my opening call on Friday, not knowing anything, is that when things change, the media is so powerful, if they want to be, that they can assassinate any particular move. And that's why the, the market at this particular point might be getting close to some kind of a bounce, even if maybe it excludes the semiconductors. It isn't actually right now, but I thought that maybe it could. And one of the things is that there's a chance that within, I, I spoke to someone the other, uh, on Saturday and Sunday, and I said, there's a really good chance as far as from my media watch. I'm only talking about this in media. In fact, I, I'm, I'm off the actual pol political side. I'm only talking about the media side. It happens to be political as well. But what I'm saying is, that within three days, give it a week, but I think it's three days, it could even be less, through the media hype, Kamala, and this might be, it might be a hype in the sense that it's, it's not accurate or it's accurate, I don't care what it is, but it's the number of times that there's a positive spin on things, the, the media can get Kamala's not percentages to a really high level, almost to maybe maybe to the Biden level, or I don't know, but much higher than it was. And then we'll see what happens. And then this is automatic fall off because you run out of energy to the upside. So with that said, I anticipated that there could be a responsive uh, market bounce. But I also based it on the fact that Microsoft, which is, well, I just heard a little ping. Let me go to the ping right now to see who it is. That's more important than what I say. Yeah, we've got William in Tampa. Oh, William, how are you? Hi, William. Hello, Basil. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Great. Uh, question regarding the short leg theory. Yes. Now, if you go back to Friday and you look at CrowdStrike. Yes. At the opening bell, it ran up from 290 all the way to about uh, 315. Yes. And it looked like it formed. It looked like it formed a leg and then a body. So, all right, we've got we've got a break coming up. Let me see if I can get some kind of a pattern here that you're looking at. I don't quite see it, but we can go through it as soon as we return. The Dow's up 138. The S&P's up uh, 50. And we're with William in Tampa talking about the stork leg. The gold I'll be report. Right as a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. 
Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi folks, we're back and we're on with uh, William in Tampa. William, are you talking about the daily chart? No, Baz, I'm talking about it's truly on a fractal on a one minute chart. Oh, 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 okay. Let's just go right there. That's different altogether. Okay, here we go. One minute chart. Uh, so I'm taking away my E mini, which has just gone in a beautiful cup formation right to the left side highs. And now it may be stalling a little bit. And we're going to go to uh, CRWD, Crowd Strike. Okay. So let me see what you're talking. Okay. Now yeah, you're talking about, I'm talking about from the opening bell. Yep. Maybe to around uh, 954, maybe forms the leg. And then from 954 to maybe around 1057, forms the oval body. Yeah, you know, I, I, I can see. I'm not saying I disagree with your assessment, but one of the things that I made absolutely an emphatic thing that I, I always say it's got to look like an oval. So in your case, right now, what I'm really looking at is a series of arches with higher highs and higher lows, and I don't get the sense of this oval pattern that says, whoops, it's going to come down and take out key support. So this year is just really walking the nine-period moving average. So um, let me just show you the design again so I'm going to uh, so that you can compare and you'll see. It doesn't matter whether it's a one-minute chart or a, it's a little difficult sometimes to see in a one-minute chart, but really it doesn't matter the time frame. So um, I'm going to go to uh, Microsoft right now, which is trading um, in the weekly chart. You can see it's trading above the nine-period moving average. But if you look at this pattern, it actually it it's not a rectangle. It's absolutely an arch. And if you look at the CDE pattern that I was talking about in the daily chart, you can see it's emphatically an arch formation. Um, and if you look at the weekly chart of CD, that is, an, that is not an oval. That's more like a circle. And if you look at the Microsoft uh, monthly chart, that's not an oval. That's more like a circle. So that, the other implications there. In fact, the Microsoft chart says there's a chance – that you can have, and I had a one-to-one -one, uh, extension going to, if I remember correctly, it was right there, um, going going to 466, and the high was 468 on, on uh, the uh, 5th of July. So that just says there's a chance now that this uh, circle become a, can become a fulcrum like a propeller shaft, and and it could extend from the low, the big red candle, to the upper part. And and that's what happens. So I just want to distinguish that a rectangle is one pattern, the oval is another, and the circle is another. But in your case right now, and let me go back to it, and you'll see that uh, even if I extend it out a little bit, um, I, 
I'm really looking at just a series of higher highs, and now it's gotten to a point where it's probably a little overbought at 270, and it could it could pull back, and it could pull back to the low of uh, so that's 270.00. Yeah, if it takes out 270.00, it could go quite a bit deeper. I think what you're talking about, in fact, in principle, is pretty much the same as what I'm looking at here. That uh, CrowdStrike has a potential now that it's dipped, could go to a series of testing. The previous lows, but that's different to the arch to the arch of the oval uh, now, that we're looking now, at. Bells, I think you. No, I'm talking about on Friday's open, not today. <clears throat> oh, oh, Friday. Sorry about that. You did say it, and yeah, I, I, I forgot. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Let's do that again. Uh, Friday, Friday. Oh, so that's A, B, C, and it went to a D, and a Doji candle D. Are you talking about? Uh, uh, Oh, you are you talking about earlier on? I'm Give you a time. Friday's open. Oh, Friday's open. Okay, Friday, Friday, yeah. Friday. Friday's open. It's right there. Am I right? Is that today? That's today, the twenty second. Let's go to the nineteenth. Give me a sign here. Yes, somebody says nineteenth. Why doesn't it do that? Um, I'm scrolling because the one minute chart. We've got to go back quite a bit. So let me do uh -huh. that. Because if you can identify this particular pattern, it's really important. Okay, there it is. Okay, I'm on the 19th. And now you're looking at what time frame? Yeah, I'm looking at the one minute on the on Friday. Yep. And from the from the opening to about 9.54, there's a form of leg. Yes. And then it forms a small oval body somewhat. Okay. I guess my question to you, my question to you is this: Obviously, uh, if that's the case, what indication do you find in your in your experience with short legs that it's becoming a failure? Oh, oh, absolutely. That's that's a very simple thing. The deeper it goes into the, so let's do this because I, I, I'm not yet sure that that's completed the whole thing with the with the beak of the. Uh, Monthly chart of the weekly chart of Microsoft. No, so the fate, no, the fate, right, right. So, so Crowdstrike the, never formed a, a neck or a head. Obviously, just formed a body, then it failed. So, I guess my question is, what indication you see or in your past experience that you know it's not going to be a, a stork leg formation? Oh, that's not going to be a stork leg formation. If if the if the oval pattern is breached. And uh -huh. if, oh, it's, it's a very simple thing. If um, Microsoft, let's just say the week of the 20, uh, 31st of May, if that came down and took out the low of the twenty of the twenty uh, sixth of April and twenty uh, and the third of uh, May, if it went under three eighty nine. That's yes. done. That that's done. There's no there's no um, stalk leg formation. That's number one. Number two is as a failure pattern. If if it got deep into the oval, and then went below about a halfway of that, it's almost like the rectangle formation. If it took out halfway, if it went below four twelve, even now at any point, if it goes below, I'm even going to say four fourteen. Uh, this in this particular pattern, if it goes below four fourteen. Uh, and it closes under that. That's that's uh, very negative. It says it's going to go. It could go even deeper. Then you're not. You haven't ended the beak, which has a really nice rally, which we're seeing right now. It's actually continuing the beak formation. And you know what? I'll try to find. Oh, I'll give you another one right here. CDE has actually completed everything it had, but this beak formation will become really negative if it trades underneath. The six dollars and two cents that it made the low of yesterday or Friday, if it starts to trade under five ninety five, it says, "Yep, you've got a beak, but that's a failure to produce that big rally at this point." And it says it could go down. It's a completion of the actual pattern, but I'm saying to you, I misunderstood. The, a failure of the of this pattern would have been if at any point. Before it started the big move on the third of July, if it took out the body low, if it took out 5.23, that would have been a failure pattern of the oval pattern with a potential stalk leg. I think that's how I should answer it. So, if the body of the potential stalk leg is taken out, that's a failure. Yes. 
Now, what about, let me ask you something. What about a false breakout from the body trying to form the neck? Any indication? Uh, yes. Sometimes it's very short and you don't see it, but it is a neck. In other words, if CDE went from 605 to 610 and went back in, I would have said, ooh, I think that's a completion of the, of the, the formation, but it's a tough one visually to see. So if the neck is very short, it makes it hard. I hope I answered the question. Thank you. Thank you. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels. You'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns. You'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry Pesavento Friday, July 12th and Friday, July 26th, 9 a.m. to noon Eastern Time for three hours of live trading. For this month only, use promo code LarryJuly24 at checkout to save $50 on your first month's subscription. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So um, let me just say this for my webinar tomorrow. We, I had said before that we're going to start implementing positions before the webinar. So if you signed up, you, you already know that we've already started. You know, we've got a couple of new positions. But at the same time, I'm I'm a little tentative in the sense that I spoke about the boost that uh, the vice president would receive from uh, the having been handed the mantle for the moment. The market will like that. It'll respond in a way that says, at least there's some clarity, a little bit of clarity going forward. We're not 100%, but it's better than it was. And at the same time, there's a moment where it's just going to say, oh, okay, we've reached that level. Now we have to be considering other things. And how those other things come about is going to be very important. That's why this is such a selective move. Uh, aspects that you thought would be important, for instance, we are long AIQ. AIQ has had a really nice move to the upside and then what a big breather it went from 37 18 
down to the 35s. It doesn't sound like much, but when, this is the biggest move down it's had, uh, even bigger than the one in May. And it's trying to bounce right now. And it's made a peak C in the weekly chart. Well, I would like to add to this, but at the same time, uh, the technicals are saying uh, just you're going to have a balance, but you need time to repair some of the just to 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 build new energy for the upside, and that's what's really important. That's what we're going to be discussing. What we want to add to in our positions, what we want to say. Look, uh, it needs more time. It's had a fantastic move. How can what can you do next? So there are a lot of positions, and not only that, I like to have positions. We we added positions in the triple digits. I like to go double double digits, low double digits. I like to go into the teens and the single digits. That's what we want to do here. We want to have find comparable stocks that are trading much lower price than the, the heavies in the same area. I love doing that, and if it works, it's really nice. It's a good percentage gain, and it's nice. So. Check out my opening call and check out the webinar coming up tomorrow.